What's up, what's up? This your boy Devin G. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, do your boy your favor and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell too. That way you stay updated. And if you're not new, you already know. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting your boy. And smash your thumbs up, like, share, and comment, dog. Help my channel grow. Help my videos get recommended. So, check this out. I know that um, I tend to use foul language, and that's just me, that's just how I talk, especially when I get into my reactions and watching movies and stuff, dog, that's just me. But unfortunately, YouTube has been tearing me up. So, I'm going to have to watch my language, at least try to, or either that or just Edit it out, and if you want to see my full uncut, you know, reaction, dog, it's going to be on my, on my Patreon. I don't have to edit out on Patreon. So, I'm going to do my best. Do my, I'm sure I can say damn. Do my damn hardest to not curse, man. And it, uh, and trust, it's not going to take away from my reaction because I'm still thorough. I'm, I'm still Devin, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, yeah, man, it, it, it's hard, bro. It, it, it sucks. But anyway, 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 anyway. Yeah, man. Um, I'm back with another episode of Band of Brothers. Episode 6. Was it called? Pistania? Pistania? Whatever. Y'all know what episode 6 is. So, yes, yes, man. Um, As you guys know, man, it is getting near the end. I think I have four more episodes after this. And you guys have been recommending two types of series. Uh, was it the Pacific and generational kill so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a poll on my youtube channel you know what i'm saying have you guys pick on what you want to do but but the catch is, is i'm gonna also i have also put a poll up already on my patreon man and if you guys don't know my patreons get the final say so on what i do and what i react to you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah so if you guys really really want your votes to count you know what I'm saying? Hey, go check out my Patreon. Nonetheless, whatever they vote on, it's still going to be dope. Because, you know what I'm saying? That's whatever I watch, man, I'm into. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just putting that out there. I know you guys are curious about my glasses. No, I don't wear glasses. But because I'm, I'm behind a computer all the time, I have to give me some, some what they call like computer glasses or something to protect you from the whoopty wire. I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to style and profile because I don't give a damn about none of that, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, these are what these are for. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, do your boy, give your boy a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely looking forward to this band of brothers. For those of you who are new to my channel, man, I am a veteran. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to military movies, it goes down, bruh. It goes down. So if you don't believe me, man, check out my all my other military films, dog. Well, actually, any reactions that I've done, and you will see that I get into it, bro. It gets real on this channel. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put the link to my Patreon at the bottom. At the bottom, you check that out. Movie reactions, TV shows, and regular reactions. With that, you get to see my full, uncut, unedited version of this Band of Brothers, all my other episodes, so on and so forth. You already know the deal. So anyway, I'm done talking because again, I know I talk a lot, but hey, hey man, I be trying to give you guys, you know what I'm saying, what's in here and how I be feeling. So, whatever. Anyway, let's get to it, man. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy my reaction. When we left for Bastogne, we were short of equipment. Bastogne, okay. We didn't have enough ammunition. We didn't have enough warm clothes. We had confidence. There was a ridge. We were dug in on that ridge. Germans knew right where we were. Mm -hmm. And they really gave us a shellac. Gave okay, his hell a bit. Better gave him hell, bro. Fog was in. They couldn't drop us, couldn't resupply us. Every time they tried to drop supplies into us, they missed us and dropped them to the Germans. How you do that, bro? How you putting the supplies at the wrong damn location, bro? And then, like, how you gonna continue to fight, dog, if you ain't got what you need? And then a medic came along, and I think he really <laughs> saved my life because he stuck a serrette in my, in a key position, more uh, morphine. Boy, the medics, dog, they the truth. You need them, boy. They hold it down. And then, too, man, you a medic dog, you on the field, bro. Best believe you, me, they trying to get your head. Because if I can get, if I can kill this medic, he can't revive the enemy. You know what I'm saying? So we got to, he number one. Yeah, dog. Yeah, bro. 
That boy a frostbite, I bet. That boy, I think it's cold as that thing. Hell, shoot, you can't even function, boy, you too damn cold. Fingers freezing like hell. Come on, numb. <laughs> Look at Captain. Oh, so I ain't been uh giving my man the respect due. Captain Winters, I've been sent LT. So gotta give him respect due. Gotta give him the respect due. That boy for the shame of cold water. Ooh. That boy's like, still gotta stay in rig. Still gotta be in regulation. You can blow your shit back. That boy with the doo doo. <gasps> Come is he here. Come is he here, Snell. That boy, I <laughs> got that boy right in the middle. About to drop that turd. You've been taking ground in one position, General, losing it in another. Now it looks like a standoff. We're digging in on the edge of the forest. Run a sporadic artillery fire, General. Them boys said they ain't making no progress. Run out of food. We have no winter clothes, and we have little or no ammo. Couldn't find the 501st on our right flank. I tied it in with a squad from our 2nd platoon, but, sir, we've got some considerable gaps in our perimeter. You're spread too damn thin. Hold the line, Colonel. Bruh! So we undermanned, dog. We ain't got the equipment that we need. And you want us to hold the line? And you're going right back to the top. I mean, you got orders, I'm saying you want a job, but st on a mission, but still, bro. And he just said it so casually, like, hey, hold the line. <sighs> nah, nah, you ain't doing a, you doing a good job, no nothing, bro. So, uh, what'd you get? I got, uh, I got this. And I got myself a crap bandage. Uh. Somebody make it do with what he got, which ain't much. They're pulling back, then what the hell are we doing sitting here? I need morphine, that's all I got. Hey, what's this? Two medics in one hole? Yes, sir. Well, what's gonna happen to us if you take a hit? Huh? Don't come over talking crap, bro. Don't do that. Not right now. First Sergeant, where's my foxhole? It's back here, sir. Maybe you, uh, maybe you missed it, huh? Oh. But what's my foxhole? Dig your own foxhole! God damn it. Bruh! Your hands don't work or something? Well, we all here, we all, all here together. Cold as hell. With my foxhole. All right, miss, just don't worry about it. Just stand your ass up, then. Depend on it. Cup of Joe, Doc? Go on. That boy digging through concrete. That scissors shop, scissors. Scissors? Uh -huh. Well, let's see. Uh, I'll have to check the saw room. In provision. That boy cooking with his helmet. In the old drawer in the middle of the desk. <laughs> all right. Uh, what about an extra thread in your aid kit, huh? Hide your morphine, guys. Oh, man! Uh, come on, man! This is the wrong dang on time. Uh, wrong damn time, bro! Look at this shit! They peppered my helmet! They knocked down! Damn! They can hit hard, too! Where's Piccolo? Christ knows! Yeah. And the medic running through all of that, bro. Bro! But they gotta be, boy, them medics gotta be fearless, boy. For real. Boy, they gotta be fearless, boy. I ain't going back, Doc. What? I ain't going nowhere, not this shit. You don't wanna go out in this shit and you yell at medic? I don't need to go back to no aid station. Mm. Well, you're in luck, man, Doc. You don't got no aid station. Damn. That boy's still no aid station, bro. You gotta just sit right here and suffer. Rebel, right, you don't need this. Not yet. I do. That's crazy, bro. That boy taking supplies. All right, you don't need this right now. What you give me? What you can spare? Right, you know what we need: bandages, plasma, whatever you can beg, you beg. All right, and give me some goddamn scissors. I can't get any. You get yourself a hot meal too, huh? That boy got the scissors. Go. You come over there, two medics in one foxhole. You don't get your ass on somewhere. Bro, we cold. We out here freezing, bro. And you probably just walked out here. Yes. Where the hell are we? This way. No sense of direction, no nothing, bro. And you barely got ammo. Hell's their battalion. No kind of equipment. Oh my god! Come on! Oh. Come on! What did he step in, bro? What did he just step in? Oh, what, is it? what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh man! Oh man! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
I guess I ain't so bad. I guess I ain't off so bad after all, man. She just wiping. Wiping. Hold up, too. That boy gotta be on heavy morphine. Gotta be. Look at that boy a drink. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Here you go. Hopefully this will help soothe your pain and warm you up or something. Come in and have him, dog. Oh, God. Merci. Oh, uh, two women. Two women and a drink? Oh yeah. Closest thing to home. Are you a surgeon? No, we don't got no surgeon. What's what's this? Uh from the bed. What sheets? Yes, the bandages. Okay. They gonna soak right through that. Get up, boy. Cuts up things as sheet. Well, I guess it's better than what you got. I'm Gene. Eugene Rowe. Where are you from? Louisiana. Half Cajun. What he, what he doing? Oh, what we gonna do? Best on you. What he doing? I guess he's saying, hey, I still know a pretty woman when I see him. I ain't that messed up in the head. And that's the order. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Julian, let me be the lead scout. Yeah. Back in line, Private. All right, that's it. Let's move out. Right. Tactical columns, gentlemen. That boy trying to prove himself, huh? Look here, Private. You're going to have plenty of time to prove yourself. What about making it home first? Trust me. Move on. All right, Private. See what you can do. Let's see what you can do. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Don't just stand there. That boy froze up. That boy froze up right in the neck. Shit. Right in the neck. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! Christensen! Up online! Oh, man. Shh. Like he's just waiting for somebody to get hurt, bro. I can get inside! Oh, fire! Oh, boy! Oh, And he reaching out for him, too. They ain't gonna let him get to him. They ain't gonna let the boy get to him. Boom! Oh, boy! Oh, They ain't gonna let the boy get no help. You gotta watch this boy bleed out. He ain't going nowhere, bro. That boy's just bleeding out, bro. You just watch this dude basically bleed out, bro. Knowing you can't help him. Dad! Okay. Oh, boy. They're running them down now. Lightning over. I need an AG standing by this. 
Okay, I got you, Chief Doc. Mm, mm, got mm, you, Chief Doc. Mm. Martin! At least he got hit by the Doc. <laughs> Pick this head, man. Old dude, man, the, the, the private, bro. We couldn't get to him, Captain. He ain't got a chance to help, bro. We tried, babe, tried. We couldn't get to him. I'm telling you, dog. They ain't you. They not gonna let you, man. Y'all out of low on men, low on ammunition. No. <clears throat> and y'all over man? Y'all out man, bro? Oh, no. Efron, Toy, what you doing out here? Thanks for the boot stock. Doing fine. Are you still having trouble with your feet? He had no shoes on for how long? I put that boy feet too up, bro. Strange for a toy. If it turns gangrene, you could lose it. I ain't coming off the line, Doc. Well, you gotta stay dry. That boy, I say, even when, even if I lose my feet, boy, I'm still gonna fight. That boy, I say, come off the line, dog. I don't care what happened. Feet or not. I promised him if he got hit, I'd get his stuff and bring it to his mom. Not the done. fucking crowd, so strip him. Hey, no, it, it's okay. It's not. It's not okay. Should have got to him. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> He's talking about the cough of a lung, dog. What about his battle buddy, bro? Crying about your battle buddy more than you care about yourself. That's what it's about. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> this is a bad idea, bro. They all in one foxhole, bro. You gonna kill three people at one time. But I get it, you cold. What's this? Supplies? Supplies? Oh, man! I don't understand. It was our own planes. Shh. Let's drop. Come on. They drop down with smoke in order to let them know we're going to drop down supplies. But then you come by and you shoot, bro? What, what kind of, what, what's up with that, bro? I don't, I don't get that. Make it make sense. At least we know y'all heard. About damn time. About damn time. Someone give us a hand here. Help. Hey, trouble. Help. But they just coming in in flocks, bro. That bitch is squirting, bro. Attention, man. The pressure is to find the Trying to find, oh, bo, 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 find the hose, huh? If he was sleep, but they woke him up. That's for damn sure. Hello! Digging that boy's stomach like. Ugh. He ain't screamed that one time. Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. But with your whole fish in this boy's stomach. You surprised she got teeth with much chocolate that she be eating? Your hands. You're a good nurse. No. I never want to treat another wounded man again. I'd rather work in a butcher's shop. Mm. Your touch calms people. That's a gift from God. No, it's not a gift. God would never give such a painful thing. No, so my hand, her hair is still steady. After all she's done and all she's doing and what she didn't seen, bro, she ain't got a twitch or nothing, bro. Dirt! We need some help over here! She's she 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 How bad is it? And she's just... But any regular person would be shaking like hell. So, so what's college like, Buck? You got time to hit the books with the cheerleaders running their fingers through your hair? Hey, it's dark. Woohoo! Look at that, chop down. Get chopped down, Doc, with a bit of whistle or something. <laughs> it's a chop down, bro. Hey, Doc. 
It's gonna get busy, pal. Hold your fire, boys. Don't let them draw you out. Stay ready, boys. What the hell? We gotta hit those things. Stay ready. I'm so like, bruh. Get ready, Walter. They finna come heavy. What you gonna do with the tank, right? Damn! Hey, team! Wake up, man. Let's go! That boy in his. Let's go! Okay. Go! Oh, I got my legs, dude. Make it easy. My fox will get the plasma now! Here they come! What you finna do, bro? What they gonna do? Oh! Go, go, go! Let's go! Oh, man, man, man. Join the gun. Got cap on that damn gun, huh? This damn medic, he ain't got a gun or nothing, bro. The whole time he focused on this one individual, bro. Oh, oh, oh. They come here. Oh, they come in heavy. Woo! They come in heavy. Doc, we gotta get the hell out of here. Hey, they about to get overrun, bro. Stop. Right. He got hit in the arm, right? Or am I missing something? Take the plasma. All right. Did he go through? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Standing on my hand. <laughs> I'm hurt, but I feel that. Another purple heart for it. Hey! Big boy needle, too. Mm-mm-mm. Right. Right. Give us a hand! I got your ride, Doc. I bet that boy cold with that. Find that vein button. Boop. No time. Boop. This boy good, man. Do all this under pressure. Now, two days ago, the German commander demanded our honorable surrender. German commander received the following reply. To the German commander, nuts. Them boys are fighters, boy. Them boys relentless, boy. I'll give them that. Oh, boy, that's the same for the surrender. You crazy as hell. What you, what you drinking? Let's see, we ain't fighting on Christmas, huh? That's crazy. Them boys are literally right here across the way. That's Picture crazy, my girl. Dog. Good looking bride, Buck. That's crazy, bro. Like, you can easily let you a fight like that. But you don't do it because, again, you're going to give up your, your, your location. Smell of fire. Mm, mm, mm. That's you smell a fire. Mm, mm, mm. You out of your mind? Oh. He <laughs> a woman's hand, though. <laughs> fire. Mm, mm, mm. Damn! Ah, oh, oh, that didn't take long at all. That's crazy. Woo, boy, boy, boy. That is crazy. If that's the gonna play the role, ain't no way, dawg. Ain't no way, but all them guys are that, dawg. Cause half of them messed up. That's it. That's that place. Mm -mm -mm. She probably died trying to help somebody else, too, I bet. Medic! Get your ass out here! Come on! Hey, boy, it almost like being a medic is a dang old curse. Hey, how'd you do that? You did that. He said he did that? Called me babe. I did? Mm. When? Just now. Well, 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 you guys. It's always, always better, brothers. Never disappoints. Never disappoints, man. This was this was definitely a an intense episode, her man. Very intense, man. Uh, I know I've always said, and if you if you watch some of my, my previous reactions, man, how important medics are. They are the heart, dog. Seriously, man. Like you have to.
to be selfless. Selfless man and have the mentality, dog, of of a warrior, dog, in order to be a damn medic. Man, because the whole entire time, man, you're not focused on you. You're not focused on your well-being. You're not focused on what's around you. All you're doing is focusing on your mission at hand and this wounded soldier. That's all that matters. That is it. And the whole entire time, man, this dude is going through his own issues mentally and is still able to function under that kind of pressure. It seems as if this dude was moving day and night, day and night, day and night. Going from foxhole to foxhole to foxhole. You all right? You need boots. You hungry? You know what I'm saying? How you feeling? Let me see your hand. Let me see your feet. The whole entire time, he will only stop and get enough rest just enough to function. Just enough to function, dog. <laughs> you can't tell that boy's feet didn't hurt. And it's cold, bro. Come on, man. Anybody who's a medic, a nurse, a doctor, or you in any type of medical field, man, you straight savage. You a straight savage, man. Because... You are no longer worried about you. You worry about the priority of someone else. So I commend you. That's for damn sure. I definitely commend you, man. Even after he lost the girl, because obviously he was interested in her. He lost her. He didn't even take time to even think about that. And only a split second. As a matter of fact, as he's sitting right here mourning and thinking about what, what just happened to him, there's another soldier saying, hey, we need you. Hey, uh, hey, Doc, what you doing, man? With, with, hey, he don't have time to take a dang on breather. Yeah, man. I know infantry, gunners, comms men, all of them are important or extremely valuable assets when it comes to a platoon. But even more, in my opinion, who's, who's an even more valuable asset is a medic. Because with, without a medic, dog, you ain't got nothing. And not only that, bro, but you do know that, and I'm pretty sure I've said this in the beginning, but when in war, man, the medics have a damn target on their back the whole entire time. Because an enemy, or if I was an enemy, I see this damn medic, or oh, he got to go, bro. You're not going to go, you're not gonna go around healing, you know what I'm trying to revive, you know what I'm saying, my enemy? Hell no, let me go ahead and get you out of here. Man, hey, man, you priority. You, you on my priority focus. So, yeah, man, yeah, 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 dog. This was definitely, definitely a good episode, man. Definitely a good episode. Even when it goes back to the chick, man. And it's definitely a blessing and a curse to have the to, to have the healing touch. Because you want to help people. But that is a heavy burden to carry. An extremely heavy burden to carry. Because you have to stay selfless. Like, you have an obligation. Whether you want the obligation or not, whether you want those duties or not, man. It's like, for example, if you're in a store, dog, and something happens, just some way, somehow, if they find a tattoo or a nurse. You are now vital. What you have going on, dog, no longer matters. Hey, you an asset, bro. You are an asset. So, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely commend people who are in, med in the medical field. You have a damn important job, bro. For real. You got, you got some weight on your shoulders. You know... For the life of me, I don't understand why they sent them out there with supplies. Without supplies, man. Like, you already going into a battle on the losing end. Because you don't have you don't you don't have what you need. I'm saying you ain't got you ain't got ammo. You ain't got one you, you ain't got warm weather girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised well they, it was snowing, so luckily they had water. I'm saying you ain't got food, bruh. You can't fight. How are you supposed to fight under those kind of conditions? And then not only that, bruh. But when they all dropping supplies, dog, they got the wrong damn coordinates. Get out of here, bro. Come on, man. That, 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 that's crazy to me. That is crazy. And then the dang going, uh, I assume he command. He come out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Talking about some more, uh, hey, where's my foxhole at? There's two minutes in one foxhole. Bro, you don't get out my damn face. Go to your own damn foxhole, bro. Something wrong with you? Something wrong with your hands? That's the problem with some people who are in command, man. They think because they have stripes on their shoulders or they have some sort of rank, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. I, I don't have to work. All I do is pass out orders. Man, you can. Man, you can eat a dick. If you feel that you are more important than the next soldier next to you, bro, then you are in the wrong position. Because again, when you're when you're in a position of power, bro, you are no longer the primary focus. Because you have you are in charge of hundreds of men. Hundreds of men. You have hundreds of men dependent on you, your decision. You know what I'm saying? To determine. How are we going to move? How are we going to proceed forward? And you focused on you? 
You focus on, hey, if I can eat. Motherfucker. Dog, if your men don't eat, bro, who gonna protect you? Man, bro, I, I guess. That punk pussy shit there. Straight up. Straight up. I can't, I don't, I don't have respect, I don't have respect for leadership like that. I don't. I don't, man. If you can't act like a leader, bro, then don't ask for the position. As the saying goes, with great power becomes what? Great responsibility. Simple. Simple. So, it's funny that on Christmas Day, the Germans were still in the Christmas spirit, singing Christmas carols and such. In the in the in the heart of battle, bro. That's crazy as hell, dog. You you literally could look right across the walkway, bro. You can't see them, but you know they over there. And they loud as day too. Just sing along. Sing along. That's crazy, dog. And you can't <laughs> and the and, and it's messed up because you're out there, bro. You hear them, but you can't see them. You're cold, you're hungry. And you remember this, the scene where the guy was freezing and he just wanted to light a fire just to just to unthaw his hands. And just within that, but within a few minutes, a few seconds of that, you are now getting hit by mortars. You are now getting hit. It's, it's like, ooh, that was Christmas for them. It's like, oh, is that a fire? Ooh, wait. Oh, they asking to die. Let me go ahead and oblige. Yeah, that sucks, man. That sucks. So anyway, man, I truly, truly, truly enjoyed this episode, man. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction, man. And as always, thank you guys for checking out my channel, subscribing, man. Have your notifications on. Comment, man. You guys are dope. You guys are dope, man. So anyway, man, don't forget to check out my Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Remember, your votes count. Your votes count, man. Because uh, we got, what, four more episodes of this Band of Brothers? Yeah. And four more episodes. I'll get this a wrap, man. So, anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. You know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you guys next time.